this video I'm going to be going into depth on how to have cooldowns for new abilities that you want to make for heroes. First, you're going to want to set the ability enable to false. And if you're doing it for a specific character that you're retooling to ongoing each player, and then the character or you could do it for a specific slot in the uh, lobby. And then you want to create a HUD text to say that it's that the ability is currently available. Then it'll be visible to event player. It'll be in a string and the string will say usability1 then leave the next blank unless you want to show the cooldown however if you do that it'll blink a lot and I just think it looks cleaner if you don't so then you for these I set the location to right so it'll be in the top right corner and for ability one, it's set to a sword order of one, which means it'll always be at the top. And then set a player variable to the last text ID. You can set them however you want. And I'll go into more detail on why I chose which variables at a later point. But for now, the variable for the first ability I have set to T. You repeat this for ability 2, and if you have your secondary fire on a cooldown, set that to another one. So then you go to your abilities. You have ongoing each player, character, or the slot. Then, just so you can have the ability used, is the ability button held by the player. And then after that, you have to make a check to see if the ability is off cooldown and ready to use. So for that, you check player variable, whatever variable you have set for it for the cooldown that is and is it an absolute value of zero now for the cooldown variables that I used I for example with ability one it's on left shift Z is directly next to it for ability two it's on E the cooldown I the cooldown variable I have set to E. For the ultimate I have the charge set to Q, but I'll get to that in a different video. So now that you have it to check are you using the ability and can you use the ability, you move on to the actions it'll take. So first can set the player variable that is the cooldown to however long the cooldown will be. For this, I have it set to 10. Then, whatever you want the ability to do, as well as destroy HUD text of wherever you stored the HUD text when you started this. So I have that at T, which if we go back up here, ability one was set to T. And when you use ability one, it destroys T. And then you have your wait for while you're using the ability. And then clear the effects of the ability 
and this will start the cooldown. <coughs> so you have the action B, chase player variable over time, with the variable being the cooldown variable. The destination will be zero, meaning that there's zero time left before you can use it again. And the duration will be however long the cooldown is. Then you have a weight of the length of the cooldown. And then create HUD text visible to event player. Use ability one in the same position. And that will show that the ability is ready to use. And then again, just so that it's available, set the same variable used to store the text box to the last text ID and then just to ensure that it's done its job set player variable of the cooldown to zero did the same thing with the second ability is it being pushed and is it off cooldown? This one, the cooldown will be 12. And like I said, ability 2 is on E, so the cooldown is on E. Destroy the text of R, which I chose because it would be right next to the cooldown variable, so it would be easier to remember that the variable right there corresponds to the text box for that cool for that ability it's the same with ability one it's the same with the ultimate so then you have whatever is done by that ability you have your wait for the duration of the ability and then you stop whatever the ability does and again chase player variable the cooldown variable from zero or to zero from the cooldown length wait the cooldown length create a HUD text saying to use the ability for ability two I have it set to a sort order of two so it'll always appear second and then reset the text variable for the ability to to the text box and ensure that the cooldown is set at zero now I'll show you how it looks traveling to Molskaya Industries So, in the right corner, you can see there's usability 1, usability 2, and right for the secondary fire on right click. Which, for this character, I have on a cooldown, like soldiers, helix rockets. So, when I use ability 1, see it disappears. The effect starts, now the effect is gone, and the cooldown starts. In the meantime, I'll use ability 2. You can see that starts, and ability 1 is back available. A couple seconds, ability 2 will be back available. And because we had the set order to have ability 1 be 1, ability 2 be 2, and right be 4, it'll always appear in that order. <coughs> that way, you'll always know which spot to look at to see if the ability is available. And now I can just keep using the abilities. So 
So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.